you are learning power bi then this is the series for you start from video 1 to learn all the basic concepts of power bi this particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around dex around power query so that you can enhance your skills in power bi subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function that is table dot add column now in power query if you want to add a column or if when you added even a column using menu what operation does it perform so that operation is basically table dot add column and today we are going to learn manually how can we do that how can we add a column to an existing table so what's the syntax of this function so the syntax of this function is table dot add columns the first argument which is take is the table which is the existing table you need to give second argument is the column name and third argument is column generator and fourth argument can be column type which is option and it returns a table again so it takes a table add a column and give you another table now let's look at the example which has been given table dot add columns a table has been given already table uh, is created using table dot from records then total price has been added and each so we have to use each now this is what you have to do in power query whenever you do something like which should add e for each and every row we have to do this use this each so each price plus shipping there are two column price and shipping and we are adding those two here and then we are giving output and then the output would actually add a column into the table and that's how they are showing this is how it look like a record but we will use a table and we will be able to see that it is added to a table so time to come to power query so let's jump onto the power bi and in power bi uh, we are at the data uh, version or the dex part of the world so now from here uh, we go to home from the home tab transform data transform data and we reach to the power query now in power query i have this table one which have some numeric data here and it's not numeric i can i can do some other operations also and then we have another one which is table two now let's because we want to do this operation manually we what we are going to do is right click on this table one and we'll say advanced editor now in the advanced editor i have this source i have this change type and finally i am returning this change type here so let source is first variable table has been created another table has been created by using table dot transform column types where the types has been changed and that finally this column has been written now what we are going to do is we are, here we are going to add a step so we give a comma here and enter now once we enter we are going to write down a new step now if i want to give a space then i can write down but i would write down with underscores i don't want to give a space so i say add new column okay table dot add column now this requires a table where is our table so whenever you are inside this power query code your last step if it is a table you need to take a table okay otherwise you have to give a table code here so my last step is basically table dot transform column type also returns a table so i'm going to take this as a table and you have seen that type when we have changed type has been written and it was showing me a table so we i got a table here now what is the next step i need to add a column so what column i want to add i want to add let's say i just want to add to the b column some number let's say b column is one two three i want to add some number to it so let me give this as a name is underscore add or addition fine and now i need to give a calculation so each b each of the b add 10 20 30 whatever i want i can do product and all those and third argument right now i'm leaving to so show you what happens when i do this and i say okay now why did it, it given me because i have not done one thing and this may happen when you do the calculation i have not written this one i am still returning this so it is it was returning this so i need to take this column the new table and then i have to change now because i am doing it manually because i am not using the menu this step i have to do myself now i'll show you when actually you add add columns it actually done that step so you don't have to do that so now you can see 10 has been added now the data type here is basically not number or numeric so i can go here and use the fourth argument and you know change the data type 
So one of the ways I go to the advanced editor, either right click or advanced editor or click here advanced editor and give it. Otherwise, if I click on the step and I'm able to see the complete calculation, then I can go here, put a comma and start writing down the fourth argument. So the argument would be, I want this integer 64 dot type or number dot type, both are available. If you start writing now number dot type, that is also available. So let's first take number dot type and you see now it is a number or I want it to make it int 64 or int 32. So I have int 64 dot type also. So I need to give type here. So int 64 dot type is also going to give you type and now this is a whole number. Now what happens if I do something, some other calculation, let's say, I, I, and I'm just going to modify this only. So let me remove this one for a time being. And let me do a calculation like here, A. A and ampersand also works in Power Query. Let's say I want to add some post fix A, let's say test. Can I do that? What happens when I do that? See, I got ABC space test ampersand and otherwise you can use text dot concat and all those operations are all now I need to type so text dot type will search text dot type and it changes it to ABC. So in this manner you can add a column you can change its type and it's always better that you add change the column type in the add column only because that would uh, save you one step because otherwise you need to have one step for change type. Now when you do it uh, just after the step it might actually include in this one otherwise it will add the change type step. Now let's add a column from the menu and see is it giving us different code or is it giving us the same code and try to understand that also. So now we go to the add column menu in the power query. Now no, this is not text this is power query add column and we go to custom column and we call it let's say test to column. And here again, let's do the same calculation, which we have removed right now, B plus 10, or let's say B plus 20. Now the syntax is correct. Everything is correct. And we say, okay. Now let's look at this new step. It is again saying add column, add new column was the previous table test to name each plus 20. And they see the data type is not being corrected. But before I go and correct that data type, let's go to the home tab, advanced editor. And let's look at the code. See, this was our table in this step. This step table has been taken by the next step. And this is how you have this connectivity control. See, most of the time what happens in Power Query, either in the first or second step, you will get start getting a table. And once you get that table, the, this operation will continue on tables. Each step is a new table. Now, when we are writing down code, we can do lot many operations before that. We can just work like in programming language. We can work with lists. We can work with record and finally come back and can return a table. But usually what happens is when you are doing it through the menu, most of the time this conversion of table happens in first few steps. And after that, you keep on doing the, uh, these, uh, steps, which are basically table operations only. And you watch my one of the video where I actually say, uh, why not merge the code where actually I added two tables. Now, usually you add one table and then you keep on doing the operation. I added two separate table and then merge it into this code. Now that is simp simply because that, uh, the, after that step, you might not be able to know there are two sources which has been added. Now here, you know, because of the source, one source has been added, but it's not that I can add only one source. I, in the same code, I can add two source and I can do some operation and finally give one output. That's also possible. So that that powerful the power query is the only thing is we need to go and do some manual coding for that now you see the very similar code here add columns versus add columns same column type each and everything now only thing which is missing is type and this is basically a number dot type or text int 64 dot type so we can say int 64 dot type and see what is happening this act automatically replace this step add new column it has been added here and this added custom has been returned and updated here. Now, when we do manually, we have to do it ourselves. Now, when you do it from menu power query is going to add that code for you. So that's the advantage of using menu over manually doing it. Now, whenever you do this add custom column from menu or even from manually, if you add it, just make sure that you correct the data type because power query, if you don't give the fourth argument or even in this case, uh, uh, the add column, which is we are doing from menu power query is not deciding the uh, the data type, it is just giving it as a mixed data type. Okay. So if you give it as a mixed data type, then when you go to the DAX, your operation might not perform as expected. So it is better that you change it here so that DAX pick it up the correct data type. So this is the manner you add a column to 
a table in power query this is table dot add column one column we are adding here so go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you